The following warm-up should take approximately 10 to 30 minutes, depending on personalized stretching. The intention of the warm-up is to increase heart rate to prepare for high explosive activity, activate all muscle groups to simulate muscle firing on the equipment, and to reach full range of motion of all positions that are assumed to be performed during the training in both a dynamic and static style. One of the main areas of focus in this new warm-up is the ability to perform it anywhere. Too often at international and domestic competitions, the space and equipment for warm-up can be scarce. This warm-up can be done on a rod floor, spring floor, foam, or even concrete. The following is a training video that is slightly expedited to keep the video short and help athletes and coaches learn, understand, and memorize the warm-up. The actual warm-up is longer than the duration of this video. The warm-up will begin with running while swinging one arm at a time in circles forwards and backwards. It is important for the athlete to keep the arm locked with tight hands and touching the bicep to the ear with each swing. The athletes will sachet while swinging the arms through the side while pinching the shoulder blades together, followed by sacheting the other direction and swinging the arms forwards and backwards to maximum range of motion. Next will be four high knee running steps, followed by a lateral jump while sticking the landing to prepare strength and stability of the knee. The athlete then performs four running steps, bringing the heel to the glutes to stretch the quad and activate the hamstring, followed by another lateral jump to prehab the knee joint. The next movement is three high knee running steps, followed by a pigeon stretch to stretch the hip and glute. After, the athlete will perform eight bounds forwards and backwards, followed by eight lateral bounds as fast as possible. Next, the athlete will perform eight shoulder shrugs in a handstand to prepare for blocking and tumbling and takeoffs in trampoline and double mini trampoline. The athlete will walk the hands out into a plank position and perform a push-up, followed by a down dog pose to stretch the shoulders. Next, bring the feet to the hands and perform a long jump to activate the explosive opening of the hip. Next, the athlete performs two small bounces in a squat, followed by two small bounces in a pike with the hands on the ground and the legs straight. The athletes then stretch the shoulder by interlacing the fingers together behind their back and stretch forwards, reaching their arms to end range of motion behind them. In a straddle, alternate reaching hand to opposite foot to stretch the hamstring and swinging the opposite arm behind them to mobilize the thoracic spine. The athlete then holds the heel to the glute with the opposite arm against the ear, leans forward with the knee, hip, and shoulder in a straight line to stretch the quad and hamstring. Next, standing in a straddle, reach both hands for the left leg, to the middle, and to the right leg. Then, twist into a lunge for a 10-second static stretch, pushing the hips forwards with the abdomen engaged, followed by the straightening of the front leg, shifting the hips back, and bringing the head towards the front shin for a hamstring stretch. The athletes then perform the same stretches of the hip and hamstring on the opposite side. Next, the athlete will begin to reactivate the core muscles with oblique pulses with the top arm on the floor to balance and the bottom arm next to the ear, followed by arch-ups on the stomach to activate the posterior chain, then oblique pulses on the opposite side, and lastly, V-ups to prime the abdomen and hip flexors for quick flexion to be performed in training. Next, sitting in a pike, the athlete will reach their arm to the opposite heel while swinging the other arm behind their back to rotate at the thoracic spine. The athlete then sits on their tailbone with the arms bracing the floor behind them, lifts the legs straightened together to the left and right side of their body with little movement from the chest, creating twist in the lumbar and activation of the abdominal muscles. Next, the athlete marches left and right, straightening one leg at a time and dropping the heel towards the floor for a stretch in the calf muscle. Then rock the feet forwards and backwards in complete range of motion through dorsiflexion and plantar flexion, followed by outward circles of the ankle to stretch complete range of motion of the joint. Next, the athletes stretch the wrist and forearm by placing the palms flat on the floor with the hands turned backwards and the fingers facing inward. Then the athletes perform a 10 second static seal stretch to prepare for lumbar extension, followed by a static side seal stretch on the right and left side. Laying on the stomach with the arms stretched out to the side in a T position, the athletes reach their leg behind them to the opposite arm for extension rotation of the lumbar. Next, the athletes stretch the neck and upper back by laying on the back and bringing the knees to the floor to the left and right side of the head as well as center. To reactivate the explosive action of the hip and posterior chain after static stretching, 
the athlete will perform maximum height standing vertical jumps. Lastly, if the surface permits, the athletes will complete a plyometric bound into a heel drive through the pike position to activate the hamstrings and lower back finishing in a handstand. At this point, the athlete may take time to include any individualized stretches or prehab exercises that are necessary for their own preparation.